I may have mentioned in the past a Barry archaeologist called Maury and Hex Williams. Now, there's massive intrigue and enigma about this individual. So let's give him a date range. So he died on the 14th of December 2014, not so many years ago. And he was born on the 21st of November 1949. Now, my researchers tell me several things. I've got a book of his with, with a label on the front with his old address in Barry, right? So I know he existed. First thing, first fact. The next thing, I've, I, I, I've got references to this individual. And the first reference was that I was, it was in the, I think, late 1980s, about 1990, I was in a classroom and local history teacher came up to me. Uh, he's a local historian in Barry called Brian Luxton. And lots of people know that. And I should have cleaned my face before. Um, and and he, he, he mentioned about this guy, right, called Morian. And he told me a few things about this individual. He said that Morian was a bit nuts. Okay. Well, lots of historians, archaeologists, and that's, I would probably probably come into that category. Now, Brian Luxton's talking about this guy, and the thing is, I thought when Brian Luxton was talking about this guy, he was talking about somebody in his 60s, in his 70s, or something like that. But when you look at it, when you look at it, late, late 1980s, 1990s, say, Morian would have only been about 40, right? So what Brian said about Morian was that he was a historian, archaeologist, or an archaeologist, that would excavate things and keep all the information in his head. So he didn't actually publish anything, or not sure he did. So that's the first fact. So he excavated places, but he didn't publish them, which is not a good thing. So hence why I'm very much into getting my work published at this minute. Lots of it. Next, Morian, it's said a few years later by another local archaeologist who's actually still alive. He said that um, Morian used to make up sort of stories, i.e. he made up a story that he'd gone abroad to Egypt and in fact all along he was actually in his house but and then on his on when he came back Morian organized a party and invited lots of historians and archaeologists along too so this has got to be this must have been sometime at the beginning of the 80s late 1970s so I've not got really much date range on this but one thing one thing that this other archaeologist said that, that Morian had had some kind of mental breakdown and he was in a he was standing in a pond at Wenvo uh, which is outside Barry and I don't know where this pond is I've never found it or seen it and Morian was standing in his pond with a briefcase saying that the information in the briefcase was massively important and that um, the, the stuff about Merthyr Devon was um, would change history. Okay. And he dismissed that as being a bit sort of nutty, you know. But anyway, Morian was accepted in, in, the, in, in the outfit of historians and archaeologists in Barry. He was an established figure. But some way along the line, he was ostracised. And the local historians and archaeologists in Barry have done absolutely everything to rubbish his name anything to do with Morian seems to be discarded or removed. What I do know is that he had some involvement with excavations at Barry Castle. I thought that he was involved in excavations at Barry Castle in the 1950s, but he couldn't have been. He would have just been 
you know, six, seven, ten years old. So it can't be true. But it's where he comes in to the picture with the archaeological excavations at Highlight Church and Merthyr Dovan Church as well in Barry. Right. So this is where he comes in. Now, the other the other um, the other thing I know about Morian was that when I was running my Barry Museum campaign, I remember standing up. I remember going and wandering across the road this one day and this guy came up to me. Right. And that was Morian. He actually come up to me. He approached me and he was talking about history and archaeology to me. And because uh, he seen my photograph in the newspaper, so he knew I was this boy who was into heavily into history and archaeology. So he came up talking to me. Right now, I want to know if there's anyone out there who remembers Murray and Hex Williams. Um, we've got the date range between 1949, so obviously he would have been active in the 60s all the way through. And what people know about this guy. I spoke to somebody really recently in their 90s, and he said he remembered Morian. Right, and obviously a link with history and archaeology. So again, this is a really intriguing historian. So if anyone has got any information out there, please comment over. Thank you very much. Keep watching me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. I've got live shows. Um, should be a link in the box down below now with my first live show tickets going online very shortly. So if you want to buy live tickets of my show in Astrogun Lice, it's going to be archaeology, lots of images, artefacts, bit of comedy, theatre, lots of music, um, and really going to promote that in all my videos now as well. So come on over. We'll be in Chepstow as well, hopefully in Narberth and in Lampeter, but I might just, that might be good enough. Anyway, thanks for your support and join. Press the join button. Every penny helps.